So we here here we have the aftermath of the experiment with the using a plastic uh, sweater box from Myers to make a solar wax extractor. This is the finished product. The entire inside of it has been spray painted with a plastic bonding spray paint that you can get at any hardware store. You can see the wax block that was up top was held in place by some perforated uh, aluminum strips that have little pyramid type uprights that hold it in place and then it just melts and goes down into the pan below where you see the wax dripping if I can get low enough so that you can actually see the wax if I can get my shadow out of the way and trying to keep the glare down that's kind of the way it works you could probably make it even simpler but by not even putting the subframe which was showed in some of the still pictures of wood and just putting that metal frame that holds the wax right on the bottom of the plastic box. The sealing strips around the edges of the lid help to keep it uh, very hot inside, probably in excess of 180 degrees on a good sunny day. And uh, there's a few little vent holes where some screws went through that I repositioned so that serves the purpose of uh, helping to vent it because it does have to have some exchange of air uh, however minimal so there you go from that size there which is very small and very light and very portable to I'll go over here to my old one show you this is the back side of it walk around the roses here and I'll show you the inside similar much bigger much heavier used to at least just leave this outside all, all winter there's some old wax cappings what we re commonly refer to as slum gum in the bee business and uh, you can continue to let those melt and then see the very bottom I don't have a pan in there there's some, still some residual wax I'll throw that into the new little one I just showed you and that'll get rid of it but I'll let this bake in the sun a little more so I can get and get it all out before I just take this extract this uh, ex extractor here for wax and just trash it and put it in the trash because it's it's seen its useful life as far as I'm concerned. The other one's much easier to operate. Good experiment, worked out fine.